Welcome to The Boiling Point. Today we're going to be talking about boiler rentals, specifically the water tube rental boiler. Yeah. We're a 35 year veteran, Stephen Taylor of Ware. Stephen handles our rental division. Last time on The Boiling Point, we talked about fire tube rental boilers and he took us through the whole complete system. Today we're going to be talking about the water tube. Stephen, you ready to go? Ready to go. Okay, talking about the water tube unit, this is a completely different animal. It's typically a lot larger unit. This happens to be a 30,000 pound per hour unit. They'll go up to 82,500 pounds an hour that we can actually get over the road. Again, single point connection for natural gas. It also is diesel fuel available, uh, capable. Single point connection for the electrical. Everything's still single point, but you have to add the other pieces. You'll see on top, there's the outlet stack for the uh, combustion gases, flue gases but there's no, no stub stack on there. That ship separate, has to be mounted on site. Relief valves, header valves, main steam valves, all of that are mounted on top of the boiler on site. Another thing you have to take into account on these units where the, the package fire tube unit is all enclosed, you don't have to worry about inclement weather protection, you don't have to worry about rain, you don't have to worry about freezing weather for the most part. These you do. You set this thing outside, they're designed to operate in the rain, but if it comes a downpour of rain and something trips out, your electrician is not going to open that power panel up with power on it while it's pouring down raining. Put a shelter over top of it just to keep the rain off of him. If it's going through cold weather, freezing weather, everything that has water in it has to be heat traced and insulated. That's the only way you're going to protect that unit during the, during the cold times during the winter. Okay, we came around to the other side of the unit so we could talk, so show you exactly what I was talking about. Fuel oil pump and strainer mounted right on the unit, one connection there for that. This is the piping I was discussing. This piping has to be heat traced and insulated if you're gonna be operating that in cold weather. All of that's full of water, no flow going through that piping, it will freeze up and bust with a unit sitting there operating with 250 pounds of steam pressure on it. Okay, now we're at the back of the boiler to talk about some more piping, other connections. Blowdowns right out of the bottom drum, surface blowdown is already piped into it, that has to be piped to a safe location. Feed water assembly, again, it's already pre-piped. The feed water valves piped, all the valves are there. That's where you connect on the outside of the unit. And again, that's more piping that has to be heat traced and insulated in inclement weather protection in freezing weather. Well, as Steven put it, it's a different kind of animal. We appreciate him coming by and talking a little bit about the water tube boiler. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Hey, last question, where'd you get the shirt? forsteamware.com. Purchase a shirt online, forsteamware.com. All proceeds will go to charity.